Hi, baby. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to get up? Yeah, I really want chocolate. You want chocolate? <laughs> My goodness. All right, let's get up, baby. Let's wake up, brother. Hi, everyone. Look at the stores on the box. It's for, it's for the birthday cake, and it was go, go free It's birthday party, and it's not go free It's birthday party. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Kitana has, um, it's a little wooden birthday cake set by Melissa and Doug, but... I don't know where the pieces are. It was here a few days ago. Now it's missing. It's probably under the bed. We'll look for that later. Uh, so uh, yeah, we just wanted to say good uh, morning. We're going to start uh, our day now. Uh, we're sitting on it. We're sitting on it. Yeah. Do you want to go have some yogurt with peanut butter granola? Uh, I just want this peanut butter on my yogurt. She just wants peanut butter on her yogurt. Yeah. What? Uh, he has some dough on his face. <laughs> That's um, Wegman's pizza that we got about two weeks ago. I actually froze it. What? He has some bread on his face. That Wegman's pizza that we got about two weeks ago. I actually froze it and I pulled out two slices last night to defrost. And I just munched on that. And I gave Lucas a small bite of the breading. So, I gotta clean his face. It's all over. So, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. We're gonna start our day now. We don't have um, too much really planned for today. Just the usual lots of housework, lots of playing. I have some personal things I need to take care of. Um, also, I have quite a few things I need to do. <laughs> like just phone calls and, and paperwork and stuff like that. And we have two invitations, two wedding invitations that I need to fill out the RSVPs for. <coughs> God bless you. What else does mommy have to do? Oh, I need to sign a letter for State Farm and send that back. Yeah, and I have to call and cancel our old internet what? company. We were waiting. We wanted to give it a few weeks using Verizon just to see, you know, how it worked out. So, and we're going to wait for daddy to get home, right? Yeah, yeah the and then we're going to go and get some groceries. At least I think that's what we're doing. Starry flashies. Play. Give the play. And that's Starry. Alright, guys, let's go have some yogurt. Stop. You want some yogurt? You want to feed another one to mommy? No, thank you, baby. One's enough. Ah! I hope you like your honey graham crackers. They're organic honey graham crackers um, by Horizon. So you like them, huh? How you doing, baby? Good. Is your yogurt good? This one is real good. Do you like the peanut butter granola? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, good girl. Here's that um, chair. I don't know if you heard Kitana talking about it yesterday. She said the tree from Nanny and Pappy. That's this chair. Kitana has a princess one. And then my parents got this for Lucas at Michael's the other day. It's really cute. It has a little cup holder. I opened it for him to try it out. Um, but we're going to use this for like when we go out to a parade or the park, picnics, stuff like that. It's really cute. So our leftover pasta from two nights ago, um, there is no more shrimp. But I'm going to add these tomatoes to it. And then I'm going to grab some scallions. I just added vinegar, salt and pepper, garlic powder, scallions, and olives. So I'm just going to mix this up. There it is. Lunch. Really fast, really easy. Leftover pasta with extra added seasonings, vinegar, scallions, tomatoes, and olives. It's basically kind of like an, it tastes kind of like an Italian pasta, but it's really tomato-y, of course, but that's something we like to whip up every once in a while. Kitana loves it. Kitana, are you ready for your pasta salad? Uh, yeah. Okay, come on, baby. <laughs> yeah. 
What are you laughing about? Are you? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. This was our leftover pasta from the other night. It Remember tastes, when we had shrimp pasta? It tastes yummy. It tastes yummy. All right, baby, let's eat. Uh, Lucas was walking back on me, and Lucas hurt himself. He hurt himself? Yeah. Look at the cookies all I, over the floor. I opened Lucas' shirt, and I asked, he said barely to himself. Oh, come on, son. Come here. Uh, come he here, baby. You knocked yourself down. You knocked yourself down. Uh. Uh, yeah, right okay? here. Are you okay, Lucas? Lucas say yeah, he's okay. Love you, boy. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Lucas, I don't think he wants a kiss right now, huh? I just kissed him. <laughs> I kissed him. Bye bye. All right, guys, here's the flounder. I just put a bunch of seasonings on it and some lime. I'm going to put it in our convection oven because I'm kind of in the middle of cleaning out the oven. So, here it is. What are you doing, little man? What? What? Hat? You think that's a hat? What are you doing? What are you doing, little man? <laughs> So I just pulled out the couch because it seems like every two to three days I find tons of stuff under the couch. Um, so yeah, I, I would love to pull out the couch and clean under it every day, but it just doesn't happen. So anyway, every time I do it, the kids go crazy. They think it's like Playland or something. I don't know. They like that it's a, a big open space that they can play in. You're silly babies. Ball, that's right. So I've just been busy. Dinner's cooking and I've been cleaning. Mommy, this is my pen polish and it's blue. And I really want it on my toes. You want your toes blue? Yeah, I really like it. Blue. Okay, if we have time, maybe we'll do it tonight, okay? I really want to do it today. Tonight, if we have time. I have to nurse brother and we time gotta wait for period. daddy. And then we're gonna have time dinner. Period. What, baby? Time period. This is Taipei with A, B, C, pink, yellow, blue, for China. China's birthday is coming up 60 January 1. Today's July 1st. <laughs> Guys, the clock is ticking really fast and I just, I feel like I can't keep up today. I just spent about 40 minutes on the phone with our electric supplier. They're the, you know, the distribution company, and then they have other companies that work through them to actually take care of the contracts and whatnot. We had signed on with a contract, signed on to a contract with a company that the last year they gave us a fixed rate of 7% lower than the, dis than the distributor's price. Anyway, that ended today, so I called them back up to to look into switching either back to that company or another supplier through the distributor. And it was a really long phone call. Um, I didn't choose a specific company yet, supplier, but I'm going to go online tonight and compare everything. And you know, I know not to go with a variable, but a fixed rate, you know. But I'm gonna talk to George about it and we're gonna look at the companies and choose who we wanna go with. So that took me a while. And then I was on with the internet and cable company that we were using um, because we switched over to Verizon. We wanted to give it a little time, a few weeks, before we canceled our original company. Um, you know, just to make sure everything was going good with Verizon. And the speed, guys, is pretty awesome. Oh, oh what's wrong? So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I have a lot to do. I'm starting to make some fish now. Really easy dinner, but we're gonna have some baked flounder and some rice and beans. George wants rice and beans, so that's what I'm making. So, see you soon. I just took the flounder out of the convection oven. There it is, it smells really good. And then the juice that it created, the butter and the lime juice with the seasonings, I put into this measuring cup. 
so we can drizzle it over our fish once we serve it. Oh, that's what you're gonna use? Yeah, Okay. Mommy has to grab forks for Daddy and I. Here's dinner. Smells really good. I just have to grab our utensils and some drinks, and then we're gonna eat. We came to Ali's, guys. We're gonna grab a few things. George is pretty tired, so I don't wanna be in here too long, but we're gonna browse around. We definitely need some veggies and almond Mama. milk. What, baby? I want you in the corner. No, just stay in the cart, baby. Hey, everyone. Uh, we just came back from shopping. We're in the car right now. We went food shopping this time around. Um, for, right yeah. What do you mean? Well, yeah, we did go food shopping. Yeah, but we didn't really grab too much. Um, it's like the produce, guys, it wasn't looking good. Well, we usually go to the farmer's market for produce, right? Yeah. We just grab some canned stuff and some other things, right? Yeah, so but we're on our way back home now. Uh, we'll check back with you guys as soon as we get home. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see it, but right over, uh, over, where is it? Over there? That's the moon. The moon looks pretty, uh, Weird. It's like a like a reddish color, orangey. Uh, moon went away. But yeah, guys, it was completely. It's like a pastel color. Yeah, right. Like a pastel looking color. Like a pinkish. I only got a glimpse of it. Because... Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is, right over there. My window won't go down. You unlock it? Yeah, it's unlocked. Thank you. Oh wow. Do you see it? See the moon, baby? No. Okay, we go short range. Baby, like it looks fake. It looks like a planet instead of a moon, right? Huh? Earth? No, not Earth, moon. No, I said what on Earth? Oh. Nothing, I guess. Yeah, it's that, not on Earth. Yeah, that's not a spot, guys. That's the moon right over there. It looks pink. Huh. Right? Yeah. That's what I would say. I mean, I know why it happens. It's because the lower it is to the to the ground, to the horizon, the more atmosphere we have to look through. I can't it's see that. It's beyond the horizon. It's over yonder. Yeah. It's over yonder. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see it, Tana? You don't see it? No, I can't Baby, see it. Baby, look, it's, it's disappearing. Ah! Okay, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's, it's a cloud that's moving into it. hungry he didn't have dinner he was napping when we ate remember yeah how is it son i just gave him and kitana both a blue corn tortilla chip lucas is that good yes Mommy. yes baby it's good it's good so it's blue it's dark yeah, blue yeah, yeah. He likes it. Crunch. All I hear is crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, baby. Hi, Lucas. What are you doing, boy? That's the floor. Hey, little girl, you're such a ham. You still eating your foodie? Yeah, spice and beans. Spice and peppers and beans. Good girl. Yeah, I don't like spicy peppers. No spicy peppers for me. No spicy peppers for you? No, I use like baby, baby, good, not spicy peppers, no spicy peppers. Cool, no spicy peppers for you. Hi, Shayna. Are you Ooh. coming? Yep. Really? Yeah. You caught me off guard. 
we came grocery shop we came home from going to the mm -hmm. store I like those bananas over there you jumping the rice in there huh yeah so it stays fresh I'll put this into another container and then whatever doesn't fit I'll tie it up cool but I have to wash the other container so for now I'm just gonna set it to the side you're so so smart Hi, baby. Hi. What are you doing? Yeah. Baby, I'm really. Oh, I'm sorry. You're That's okay. What? I'm really in the mood to bake. I bought white chocolate chips. Chocolate chocolate chips. We have. Where is it? So what did we get? Oh, sorry, baby. Well, I put most of it away already. Um, we got the rice. We got some breads. We got a bunch of bananas. The kids started eating those in the car. Um, some chicken and sausages in the fridge. I think we might eat those for Fourth of July if we don't go anywhere. Cool. Garlic powder, olives, preserves, some organic salsa, and a bunch of other stuff over some here. Some dried beans, and I only bought one can of the. Oh, here they're called salad beans. I think it's a mixture of kidney and pinto and stuff like that, but they're organic, so. I only grabbed one to see if we like them and maybe I'll grab more next like next time we go back. So what's the difference between like the dry stuff like this and the canned stuff like this? Like I don't understand. Wouldn't cans be easier? Well, these dried are better than the regular canned beans that aren't organic because these aren't bad beans then soaked in extra chemicals and preservatives. These are better beans. Ah, babe, you want to eat the chocolate. These are better beans because they're organic beans, but they're soaked in a can, so chemicals can leak from the can into the food. A lot of companies now are going just glass or like paper cartons for their food because okay. chemicals leach from the can into the food. So we got healthier beans, bad packaging. Dried beans, so there's nothing extra bad added to them, but I don't know where these were grown. Technically, you don't know, don't they say in the back it like could be GMO? I have pesticides and stuff grown. Don't they say like grown in Mexico or something like that? Yeah, but I, I didn't look at them. Uh, let's see. Oh, right here it says it is at uh, Bolivia, Illinois. Yeah, you call in. But Batavia, Illinois. It's a product of Canada. So these are Canadian lentils, and then they were packaged in Illinois. I mean, like I said, it's a bean, but there's nothing extra bad added to it because it's a dried bean, so that's good. I can put all my own ingredients to it when we cook them. Okay, so dried but beans are healthier than canned beans? That's what you're saying? Comparing apples to apples? I don't know what's technically better apples to apples, but these beans... Hmm... I lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll research and then we'll get back on it. No, but these could be pesticide or GMO beans. And chances are that they are because if a company is going to put forth all that extra money to grow a truly organic bean, they're going to go through the processing of paying to have it labeled. That way their customers know that they are truly organic beans. Awesome. But baby, I know, you know, it's really expensive. <laughs> it's ex everything's expensive, you know. But um, Amazon I saw has organic beans for a decently good price. So honestly, I think we're gonna start buying dried beans from our organic dried beans off Amazon. Cool. Let's do it. Like this is the last time I grabbed them because we're low on food and we needed some things. And this is what we had. Um. Look at this. Like yeah. I checked the Wegmans when we were there last time, but they are actually cheaper off Amazon. So I'm just, maybe next week. I didn't think they sold food in Amazon. They do. Cool. But I'm, I'm totally going to just start doing that and soak the beans. Maybe like every Monday, I'll just put some beans in the fridge and start to soak them. Or maybe we can get a pressure cooker. No? It's easy to just soak them. We just have to soak them overnight. Okay. And then boil them and then throw them into the chili or burritos or whatever we're using them for. Cool. Yeah.
I'm interested because I should know about beans. I'm Latin, so. No, but what do you guys think? Beans, organic in a can, chemicals could leach into the beans, or dried, possibly GMO or pesticide filled beans. Cool. Well, what's better? <laughs> they both have their pros, they both have their cons. Speaking of cons, I want to make a roast con gandules with uh, this stuff. Okay, huh? <laughs> Get it? Because it, con is the Spanish word for with. Yeah, so, and you say, right, so, no, no, do you get it? Yes, I get it. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> all right. Hi, baby. Baby, you're so handsome. <laughs> look at, look at Lucas's belly. <laughs> he just leaned back and his stomach's all. <laughs> it's so cute. You guys are rowdy. You gonna pop that balloon? I said that earlier. Whenever I pull the couch out to clean, they become very hyper. They're like, yes, he's like a space face. Hi. Hi guys. Is that your shoe right there? Can you get it for for daddy, please? No, they go in the entryway. Here, daddy will take your shoes. Thank you. Who's a good girl? Me. Who's a good girl? Me. That's right. Oh no, it went up again. Hey everyone, it's actually bedtime now. So we're going to be putting the little ones to sleep right now, to bed. Um, so, how was your day? What was your favorite part of today? My favorite part is when you came home because when I talked to you earlier, I knew you were having a kind of a stressful day. Yeah, I had a rough day today at work, but it's work. So, uh, ups and downs. Lately it's been a lot of downs, but I'm not gonna go there because it's always up. Gotta focus on the posture. That's right. No Debbie Downing here. Nope. Nope. And I'm sorry if your name is Debbie. It has nothing <laughs> to do against you. Um, it's just the same. But um, yeah. I, I, when I came home today, everything was great. Because some of my little kids came over. Daddy, daddy, pick me up. So I could always come home knowing that my kids are gonna greet me. And that makes it worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, guys, have a good night. We'll see you soon. Good night. Good night, guys.